all right how do i get this this and this into this boat in a way that'll make good stuff happen i want the motor above the water line and then the propeller shaft to go at a pretty shallow angle you know as shallow as possible and then the propeller out of the back and then i need to be able to lift the propeller out of the water um, you know when I'm not going so it's not just getting covered in barnacles now that I got it all cleaned off and uh, what else the motor needs to butt up against something really strong because that's where all the thrust is going to be pushing I do have some one inch ball bearings that probably fit on that shaft or maybe ah. well when I helped the guy get this thing out he was hitting this end with a hammer which spread the metal so let me file it still a pretty tight fit all right this is better all right. I think I have an idea here I guess I better pack it in. Button down the hatches! An idea. Right. I'm pretty sure I can get that in there. I don't want to do it yet. There's a serious looking piece of machinery. This end's just held on by locking pliers, and that end's got a bucket under it. But I think that's good enough for a little test. Oh, I don't know if I'm emotionally prepared for a test drive right now. 
Uh, luckily I don't need to be to untie the lines. All right, let's go. All right, we've used conventional motors out to the end of the lagoon and we're gonna go zoom in there. So let me turn around first. Start deactivating those motor. Let's crank up the other one. Got my other motor doing nothing, just causing drag, but that's the only steering I have right now. I can't tell how fast I'm going, but I'm definitely going. Let me crank up both motors. I just realized I haven't cleaned off the bottom of the boat in a few days. It's definitely gonna go faster. Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna have to do some some real tests with scientific data collection and then well I'll just turn the GPS thing on and see how fast it goes. Oh I uh, still need to replace this bucket with something and make some more kind of permanent attachers for this. Maybe make an easier way to slide it down and up. This thing down there goes into the hole real easy, but it's a little bit loose, so, you know, it jiggles. Uh, I don't know. I, I might just leave it. Or maybe, actually, if I put a little collar around here that presses up against the hole down there, that would keep it from wiggling. It's not a big deal, though. It just jiggles a little. You know, like that. Other than that, though, this seems like it's doing pretty good. Uh, and when the motor is pulled up, I just need to remember to put the propeller like that so it's not in the water. Of course, I can just do that. And I'll lift it out. Oh, wow. What a mess I made today. All right. Maybe some little elves will come clean that up. Oh, little elves put everything in the wrong place, though. Ah. 